welcome back. We are at Lanigan Community Thrift and Gift. So let's go on in and see what we can find. I'm gonna start off where they have some of their vintage and antique items. Here is a teapot, sonaware, aluminum, made in England. Five dollars. Butter dish for three. This looks like a very old picture frame. It is three dollars. British untarnishable manufacture. Well, I don't think it's untarnishable anymore, but it's pretty cool. Very old, looks antique. So I'm gonna pick that up for three. Oh, and Wendell found another cool lamp. It's very mid-century modern looking. Maybe older. The plug looks pretty old. It's five dollars. It's a nice small size ceramic. So I'll grab that as well. Some vintage gloves for three dollars. I'm curious where these are made. Nylon. Doesn't say, doesn't say where they're made. Here's a vintage clock, $7. It is made in China. Not super old, but definitely vintage. And there are some vintage glasses. I have this set already listed in my shop. These ones have a bit of wear. The canister set. The flower and coffee are in nice shape. The, that one is a little bit worn. Some very old books here. They look very interesting. Shelley illustrated. What year is this? Eighteen eighty. Look at the Wow, that's really old. I don't know what this book is about. Preface, which I wrote for my edition of Shelley in 1870, two volumes, will in various respects answer for this re-edition of 1878, three volumes. How much is that? One dollar. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab that for a dollar. There's another one here. Poe's Poems. Ooh, I love poetry books. That's a very old one as well. The binding is, so yeah, the binding. It's a little bit rough condition, but I mean, for display purposes, and I'm sure it'd be a fun book to read. Some poetry. It's a dollar, I'll grab that one as well. So I'm gonna grab those. There is this piece of chalkware here. It's three dollars. It's made in Italy, hand-painted. There's a lot of chips on it. The, yeah, it's pretty chipped up, but I think for three dollars I'm going to pick it up for myself and display it in our country home or our church, and I can just touch up that paint with a little bit of similar color so the white isn't so prominent and I'm going to grab it for three dollars. That's a really old piece. This is kind of interesting. Made in Japan, three dollars. Not really my color scheme and um, I'm not really into hearts and stuff, but somebody will be. 
That's a vintage piece for three dollars. Got a Canadian cookbook for one dollar. It's kind of rough. Ew. I don't eat meat, so that's kind of, well, it's pretty dirty, but a magic eraser might clean that up. For a dollar, I'm going to pick it up. It's, it's very old, cool book. Sure, I'll never use it, but I can display it or whatever. That's a very old spool of thread. Some hens. That's pewter. Or aluminum, maybe. Some Archie comics. Popeye. I love Popeye. How much are these? Two dollars. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll grab Archie comics for two dollars. lady and these books and there's this one dew upon the grass it's a nice color for displaying but I think I think I'm gonna leave that one with some pink gloves dollars I don't know anyone wears gloves anymore but some people may collect them just pretty vintage gloves are usually extremely small I have really small hands but very very long fingers and I I can't even fit most vintage gloves I'm just curious what this plate is. Hanley Tokyo Volcanoware. It's a bit worn, I think. Look at these little, these little teapots. All right, well, let's go have a look around the rest of the store. I've already got a pretty good amount here in my cart and my cart is not cooperating with me here. I don't see anything on this shelf. It's pretty busy in here today. Here's a vintage wall hanging. One dollar. Here is a original piece done by Susan. It's quite large. I kind of have to steer this cart with my foot. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I don't know what that is. If that is cruel or not? Maybe. That's really sweet. What is the price on it? Oh, it's pretty stuck in there. We got $7. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to put the phone down to put this back. Blue glass. Oh, that's cute. Well, I just found this piece. $2. That's pretty sweet. The wheat. Uh oh, the wheat just fell out. And it has a little bit of some chipping on it. It looks almost like an animal chewed it. But um, that's okay. I'm going to grab it anyways. 
I'll stick it somewhere out. In our house somewhere. Looks kind of more natural like that, right? <laughs> Here's a few vases. Not really seeing anything. This is really light. I think it's plastic. That says mother. Probably made in China. Nope, made in Japan. Very 1980s. Those are kind of interesting. Some fake, very fake looking succulents. <laughs> They're super bright. There's a whole basket of shells. There's a few interesting ones in here. Five dollars. I was thinking maybe for our bathroom. We do have a lot of seashells in our bathroom, but I don't think we have anywhere to put them. I'm not sure what this would be for spoons, maybe? Yeah, there's little slots here for spoons. I don't think anyone really collects spoons anymore, though. But I suppose you could use it for something else. I don't know what, but... Baskets. I'm not seeing any that I gotta have. Kind of like this basket. I think I've looked at it before. But I really don't have any anywhere to use it. And yellow tags are 50% off forgot to mention that so I don't know if I have any yellow tags in my shopping cart or not <laughs> I can't remember but if I do they are 50% off I, I have the stiffest shopping cart <laughs> I literally have to push it with my foot when I go around a corner It's a fun color. Some figurines and knickknacks. A trinket box. Just a pottery piece. It's got some cracks on it though. And these ladies. Wooden dancing ladies. It's a little bit loud in here right now. Costa Rica. Oh, here's some crystals. Some amethyst and rose quartz. I think that is cistrine. And I'm not sure if that's Lapanese. 50 cents, well that's a great price. I'm gonna grab that bag of crystals. Candle holders. This looks like a glassy baby, but it is not. No. I've never held a glassy baby, but I'm pretty sure this is not one of them because it just doesn't feel like it would be of that quality. Those are kind of interesting. They're quite weighty. I've got a mid-century modern look to them. dollar each. Mm. I 
I think I'm gonna leave them. She's cute. Oh, night light. That's very sweet. Under. Um, I don't know how old this is though. It says made in USA. She's pretty cute. A little scratch there. leave her behind. What do we have here in this bag? Some little wooden dolls. There's a little wooden cat. Or no, that's a bunny. These are cute. 50 cents. I'll pick that up. That is so heavy. Don't believe it is Costa Boda. It's like, oh, that has to weigh probably about three or four pounds. <laughs> I don't think I've ever picked up a Voda folder that heavy before. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything else here, so. I'm gonna grab this little bag of wood pieces. Spotted some vintage pillowcases. There's a pair here. These are these are nice and bright. Look like they have some discoloration though. And I don't know if I'd be able to get that off. So we'll have to leave those. Pretty though, here's an embroidered one. For a dollar. That's pretty. Let's see if there's any discoloration in this one. Looks pretty nice and bright. Let's see if there's any more here. That is a vintage pillowcase. That's pretty. It's really pretty. I'll buy that one for myself. Okay, I'll pick that one up. Put these back. Try and do this with one hand. <laughs> All right, I'll grab that. There's some pretty retro pillows up here. Like they might be coming unstitched though. There's this one. That's a pretty fun round purple pillow. It's velvet or velour. I think I'll leave it. Right, I'm not really seeing anything over here. Some NASCAR sheets. All right. 
That is what Wendell does when I'm taking too long. Finds a place to sit in the thrift store and goes on his phone, usually researching something, reading something. So Wendell thinks that I should probably get this clock. It's very mid-century modern looking, and it is. I don't think it's that old, but it definitely has a mid-century modern look to it. It's $7. I don't know if it works properly, but we will see. I am going to grab it, so. I don't know if there's anything else here that I gotta have. I think I've kind of looked through everything. So that is what I'm getting so far. I've got the two pillowcases, the wooden dolls, and these I probably won't resell. I'll probably just give away as a free gift or put them in a lot or something. I don't know. I just think they're so cute that I can't leave them for 50 cents. This I probably won't resell either because it is chipped up, so I'll just put it somewhere. And then my chalkware lady that I'm going to keep. Mid-century modern lamp. Some vintage Archie comics. Some antique books. Vintage cookbook. A Japan plate. And an antique picture frame. And some a bag of crystals. So far, that is what I have. I'm going to look around a little bit more if I find anything else. Oh, wait. I'm spotting something on the bottom shelf here. I didn't even look down here, but I spotted the vintage Tupperware. The orange is a really good one to pick up. It's a popular color. Same with the green and the yellow. That lid does not match though, so I don't know. This is $3. This one is $7. And then this one is $5. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it today because I have a yellow canister set already that I need to sell. French garnishing cutter. What is that? Stainless steel. I don't know. I like the box though. And a dialomatic food cutter. <laughs> That's fun. I love the box and the graphics. It's a cute little handmade pin cushion. Vintage patterns. I think I looked in here, so. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here that I'm going to grab. What about this bottle? $2. Wash and return. Kind of a cute little milk bottle. What is in this on the back of this plate? Hand painted in a pawn. One dollar. All right, my total was $36 and I got a box of great vintage items and a few antique items. So that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.